This is 6 says the function is defined as f of x, which is, um, this is supposed to be 3 raised to power x. So we're going to correct the question. So this is 3 raised to power x minus 2x. Determine the range if the domain is 0, 1, 2, 3. Now, in order to get the range, all you need to do is find f of 0 for this domain. So f of 0, you have 3 um, raised to the power 0 minus 2 times 0. This is going to give us, um, this is 1 minus 0, which is 1. When you look for f of 1, it's going to be 3 raised to the power 1 minus 2 times 1, which is 3 minus 2, and that's 1 again. When you find f of 2, this is going to be 3 raised to the power 2 minus 2 times 2, which will be 9 minus 4. That will give us 5. Then we find f of um, 3. This is going to be 3 raised to the power 3 minus 2 times 3, which will be 27 minus 6, and that will give us 21. So from here, the range is going to be, now you pick 1 once, 5 and 21. So that is the range of the domain. Now, the next question says, an open cylinder has a length of 15 cm and radius of 7 cm. Calculate the surface area of the cylinder. Now, in order to solve this question, um, for the total surface area, total surface area of a cylinder. Now, assuming the cylinder is closed, okay? Now, the surface area would be 2 pi r squared because you have a circle here. You have a circle here plus and um, you're going to have 2 pi r h. But now, since one part of the cylinder is open, we are going to use only one here. So, total surface area of open cylinder. That means one part is closed will now be pi r squared plus 2 pi r h so with this formula we'll be able to solve now assuming both cylinders are closed we would have used two but now we are using one now this means pi r is common which will now be in two what that will be r plus 2 h so we're putting in our formula that's 22 over 7 times our radius is 7 into 7 plus 2 times 15. So 7 is going to cancel at 7. You have 22 into 7 plus 2 times 15 is going to give us 30. So this is going to give us 22 times 37. Now when you multiply 22 by 37, you're going to get um, 814 um, cm. Remember, you're looking for area, so it's going to be 814 cm squared. Now, if this is your first time of coming to this channel, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and click the notification bell to get more videos from us. Now, we are solving the unit pass questions, and as you're preparing for your exam this November, these questions are going to help you. Now, question 8 says, given that A is this and B is this, find the magnitude of A plus B. Now, A it's um, this and B it's 4 minus 5 B is equal to what? 3A therefore let's find A plus B which would be A plus now B is what? 3A and this is going to be what? 4A so 4A will be 4 multiplied by 4 times minus 5 now this is going to give me 4 times 4 is 16 and 4 times minus 5 is 20. Now the magnitude of A plus B is now going to be, remember A plus B is the same thing as 4A, it's now going to be 16 square plus minus 20 all square, the square roots. That's how you find the magnitude of um, a vector. So this is going to be square, 16 square is going to give us um, 256. 
so this will be 256 plus 20 squared is going to be 400 so this will be this and this will be square root of when you sum these two numbers up you're going to get 656 and square root of 656 is going to give you 25.61 so our final answer it's 25.61 question 9 says Apili has 20 million shillings on a fixed deposit account in a bank the bank gives a compound interest at a rate of 4% per annum Calculate the amount Apple will receive after two years. Now, one of the easiest ways to solve um, compound interest is to apply the formula A equal to P into 1 plus R over 100 or raised to power N, where P is your principal and R is your rates and N is your time. Okay, so having established this, uh, A is going to be, this will be 20 million into 1 plus. This will be 4 over 100 or raised to power N. So A is going to be 20 million all multiplied by 4 over 100 is going to give us um, 0 0.04. So this will be 1.04. Sorry, then raised to power N, our N is what? 2. So this is going to be, um, when you punch this on your calculator, you are going to get um, 216323.0. So this is the amount it will, you will get after two years. Another second way you can solve this question is um, to solve the um, um, simple interest, then take Add the um, your interest to the capital and use it to solve for a consecutive second year. So um, question ten says um, the volume of the prison below is one nine one one nine zero cm cube, and AB is equal to HCM, BC is equal to ten cm, and um, CD is equal to fourteen cm. Now it says find the value of H. Now, I want you to first of all understand that this is um, a triangular prism and the area, okay, the volume is going to be um, area of base times the height, okay? So first of all, it's a triangular prism. Don't get yourself confused that this is a rectangular prism. No, it's a triangle and the base is a triangle. So our volume it's going to be half times base times height for the um, the triangle times then the height, which is now the rectangle. Now, this will be 1190. It's going to be half times the base of the triangle. Um, that's 10 times H. Then times um, the height of the triangle here let's say this is height of the rectangle and this is height of the triangle let's differentiate the two heights okay so times the height of the rectangle it's um 14 cm okay so two is one here two here it's going to be five so we are going to have um one one nine zero is equal to five multiplied by um 14 is going to give us 70 70 h therefore h is going to be um that's 1190 all divided by 70. zero cancel your zero 119 divided by 7 7 into 11 you're going to have one whole number and 7 into 49 you're going to have um, 7 so this is going to be 17 c and final answer now like i said if you've not subscribed to this channel we are going to be solving a whole lot of UNEB UCE questions in preparation for your exam. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button and um, even as we bring you more videos.